into Yahweh's eternal family. Both houses need that adoption. His life is prolonged after he is said to be dead. A reference to physical resurrection. Yeshua did have his human days prolonged on the earth by 40 days. This term, Yarich Yamin, refers only to those 40 days after death between his resurrection and his ascension. This term does not refer to his past life in heaven, in Yahweh's bosom, or now at Yahweh's right hand as Yahweh. Since Isaiah speak of his earthly days being prolonged, Isaiah properly uses the term Yarich Yamim to refer to those 40 days. Where Isaiah referring to Yeshua's eternalness, he would have no doubt used a different term such as Leolam or Leolam Ba'ed or Nechayi Olam in his hand, mankind and Israel will be restored. Amen. Wow, what a point. First of all, the word Asham. Asham refers to a special kind of atonement, sacrifice. Yeshua died for Israel as a collective nation. He took the guilt, the collective guilt of Israel. Now, it pleased Yahweh to crush him. See, to do the will of Yahweh is not treason. Even if you accept Yeshua, and you lose your Jewishness, or they don't like you, or you lose your whole congregation, listen, you are doing the will of Yahweh. It was the will of Yahweh to crush Yeshua, not because he was cursed, forever dismissed from Yahweh's presence. No, but he is at the right hand of the Father. And over here, there is a part that is talking about life after death. Okay, those 40 days, 
that Yeshua was, you know, when Yeshua died and he resurrected, he was alive on earth 40 days before he ascended to heaven. This is what's talking about here when it says that he shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of Yahweh shall prosper in his hand. Let us go to verse 11. King James or the master already text says, He shall see of the travail of his being, of his nefesh, of his soul. But the original manuscript, if you read the LXX Septuagint, or if you read the this scrolls, you're going to find that it says, He shall see the light. That word has been removed by the Masoretic Jews. But the New Testament, or the Renewed Covenant, which is actually older than the Old Testament that we read today because it was coded from the Septuagint, which it was written in 250 BCE, makes it a thousand years older than the text that you're reading today as the Old Testament, which it was translated by the Masoretic Jews and they're not around the 7, 8, 9th century and they took out all this, the pretense Yahshua because they did not believe in Yahshua hmm our forefathers have inherited lies this is why today you have to be saved by the Ruach the Ruach will reveal to you if you pray that Yahshua is Mashiach because there is a lot of key words that are taken out of the scriptures by those they did not believe in Yeshua HaMashiach this is what you're reading let me read verse 11 it says he shall see the light the result of the travail of his soul of his being and shall be satisfied and by his God by his knowledge shall my Sadiq Eved justify many for he shall bear their iniquities again he shall bear their iniquities he's talking about righteous servant he shall see the light, not a nation, but a man. He shall see the light. Now how important is that word light? Okay, remember Yeshua said, you are the light of the world. The Masoretic Jews knew this. They also took out in Isaiah 61, that Yeshua gave the eyesight to the blind. They took out a lot of prophecies concerning Yeshua concerning the Messiah, the Mashiach of Israel, which they had no business doing because Yahweh says, do not take, do not add anything to my word. So I believe they're going to have to deal with Yah when they get up there to the Shamayim. Let me read a note about this missing word light. The missing word light is found in the LXX Septuagint and in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Therefore, we see the Messiah dying and after death seeing light again by his days being prolonged. See that is a key word right there, light. Because we see the Moshiach resurrecting and living again in this earth for 40 days. Seeing light it does not refer to his life in heaven now with the Father as Yahweh or his life before he came to this earth and the Shamaim but it refers of those 40 days I already read to you why Isaiah used that word Yarif Yamim now let me keep reading